What's going on everybody? It is Monday afternoon. Uh, I'm just gonna make it quick. Uh, therefore, this little clip here will be, again, with uh, a combo vlog. So in the background, I have my Adobe Premiere fired up and I have a vlog that's kind of a mixed match of clips from late 2016, early 2017, uh, during the time that Vancouver got all this snow, which is crazy because it's an anomaly that we ever get that much snow in a given time frame. Yeah, I'm just gonna go head out to the run group and go for a little run and then come back home and like I said, get this video up and fired up. Uh, it's been such a long time since I've had anything um, worth putting up, but again, that was on my end because just a lack of motivation. Really, at the end of the day, I just didn't put it out there because uh, I was not I was not focused. That's really plain and simple. I just was not focused. Crazy thing is, just before I fired up the camera, I called my drop-in clinic or I went to go set an appointment for a doctor's appointment for my wrist, which I had fallen on during beer league hockey. And uh, it was one of those injuries that I sustained that I thought the next few days it would just kind of work itself out. But it's like two months later and it's still pretty sore. Uh, there's, there's pretty much close to a full range of motion that I could do with the, my wrist and my hand. But when it comes to actually lifting a significant amount of weight, it hurts. Like I literally have to reassess how I'm going to approach most things if it, it requires heavy lifting. Um, so there's definitely some damage. Now whether it requires surgery or not, I don't know. But I'm going to go see a specialist or a doctor to get that opinion. Now, the whole point of me bringing this up was because I called the drop-in clinic or the family doctor that we go to. But apparently it's been a long time since I've been there, like 2011. And uh, so the last time I called was a few days back and they said that they didn't have a spot open, but just to call the next day at around nine o'clock in the morning to see if there's any spots open uh, due to cancellation. Um, I didn't call it just cause <laughs> the, that, that, call, that call was actually a frustrating one. Um, so I just kind of just left it at that. And then just moments ago today, I called them up again, or called up the, or called up the offices to set up an appointment, and uh, it was interesting. They're like, "Well, you know, here's the thing: you haven't visited a doc, or you haven't visited our offices since 2011." Almost, kind of almost in a negative tone, and uh, I was like, "Okay, well, is that a problem?" <laughs> They're like, just a little bit of a silence between um, both parties, and she's like, "Well, no, it's just." have you seen a doctor recently? And I was like, no, because there was no need to. <laughs> and so she was like, okay, well, what kind of coverage do you have? And I just, it just felt like it was a lot of undermining or just kind of a little, a little too critical on their end. And I just told them, well, no, I haven't had a need to go see the doctor, but is there a problem? She's like, well, no, I've seen your family history is uh, in front of our computer here, like you, your family comes here. So just wanted to know where have you gone since then. And then I was like, again, I didn't need to go see a doctor. So that's why I haven't gone to anyone or I haven't been to these offices since 2011 because I didn't need to. And I was like, is there going to be a problem? She's like, no. I was like, okay, do you have something on a Monday? And so, yeah, anyways, we figured out a date. So two weeks from now, I'll go and see our family doctor essentially and uh, go from there. Anyways, I'm gonna head out for the run and then I'll be back uh, hopefully. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I'm back from uh, the evening run. Uh, just back on my computer here after having some dinner. Um, it's been a few months that I've actually used the updated version of Adobe Premiere and for whatever reason the audio input output uh, was screwed around. Uh, typically if I'm on Adobe or if I'm on YouTube I'll listen to the tracks or I'll listen to uh, videos and it'll, it'll play back through my speakers and then if there are times where I kind of want to just blast the volume up if I'm listen, listening to some tunes I'll plug in my headphones on my computer tower behind me here 
and it'll seamlessly uh, adapt or it'll seamlessly uh, change from speaker output to the headphone out input kind of or input output whatever that may be but it, again it was seamless but for whatever reason uh, through the sound card updates uh, the Windows 10 updates and the Adobe Premiere update uh, it is different now I literally have to plug it through um, the speaker jack which is not what I usually usually do at, at the end of the day it's it's just annoying and being used to one thing and then having to adapt to it I know first world problems right but I mean it'd be great if they had a memo saying hey we fucked around with your audio input output so uh just an FYI but no, they make you want to go through all the loops and uh, get you pissed off when you don't figure it out because you got to go online and search the crap out of the topic or the issue because I've, I'm not the only one that's had the problem. But uh, yeah, so I figured it out after kind of exploding. My head just exploded a, a few minutes ago and then I was able to find it and I was like, oh, I was this close of just throwing shit around. <laughs> but yeah, I think... Um, I'll show the clips from, again, the last few months that just kind of were compiled and was never really touched. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this combo vlog, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, it seems like my last two uploads, I've been um, at the mall at the part-time job. But a little update. I'm back here today on a Monday. Um, it's my last two shifts. Uh, the Monday, Tuesday. A little sad that I'm going to be leaving the Canuck store. So I will try to take advantage of my discounts here. I got my jerseys. I want to get them crested. Uh, I want to get my premier jersey um, with Jake Vertanen on it. And my authentic jersey, the alternate blue uh, with Bo Horvat's uh, name and number, number 53. Uh, it, it's it's just one of those days. It's just it's gorgeous. Uh, the last two days, it's been really windy, a lot of rain, like heavily raining. Uh, just typical Vancouver area weather, but it is gorgeous today. And um, yeah, it's it's again, it's a little a little bittersweet, a little sad that I'm gonna be working my last two shifts at the Canuck store, but I'm gonna make the most of it. Uh, I did learn a lot. Um, well. I mean, it was still retail like my other jobs. Again, I'm going to go in, head in for work, and uh, keep you posted. Otherwise, uh, it's good to be back. Um, I haven't... That's funny because my Premiere Pro, I've updated it, but haven't used it. So, uh, looking forward to editing videos again. And so, I'm here at work right now, and uh, it's pretty slow, like a typical Monday, Tuesday. I'm gonna miss this place. Day is done. I'm gonna head home and uh, don't know when I will see you next in the next clip, wherever that will take me, whether it's tomorrow, two days from now, maybe a month from now. So yeah, uh, Friday, getting back to this whole vlogging thing, I need to sign in into my Adobe Premiere. Um, haven't used it. I think it's been updated twice and just got myself familiarized with the new features. Um, I'm out here in Vancouver. I'm gonna hook up with uh, Karsten here. And we're gonna head down to Cypress Mountain for a little snowboarding for the first time this year. For head on out now, we're gonna take Karsten's car because my tires aren't good for potentially the roads up there. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the mountain.
do that. It's just a battery here. Hey, hey, that's not yours. Hey, hey, get out, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Great to have it out here. I wish it just, you know, when it fell on the road, it would just melt away naturally, and then everything else would be snow covered. But that's not how it works. That's not how it works. So there's that. Now. now this could be interesting, pushing numbers forward in this counter-attack. 